Hey guys, we are back with some more Salt Lake City Lakers franchise mode. And in this one, we are starting out the year 10 playoffs against the Colorado Avalanche. We had a fantastic regular season, stacking up 56 wins. So this team, I expect this team to go pretty far here in these playoffs. First line for Colorado is Landeskog, McKinnon, and Burke. Second line, Kraus, Kairou, and Rantanen. Third line, Donato, Jost, and Sherwood. And then the fourth line, Boquist, Breland, and Scavello. On defense, you have Gerardo McCarr, Byram, and Morris, and Dotsuk, and Vero. And a goal, Alnafelt, and Bednar. Scratched are Kopp, Shillington, and Fitzgerald. Here we go, game number one in Salt Lake City. First period. All right, so Colorado getting off to a great start here. McKinnon, Gerard, and Donato on Demko. Goudreau for your Salt Lake City Lakers on Alnafelt. But nonetheless, we are down by two. But leading at the shots department, 15 to 6. So uh, hopefully this doesn't end up being like the Dallas series last year where we... Outshot them tremendously, at least for the first couple of games, but they outscored us at least in game number two and then for the rest of the series. So hopefully, once again, this doesn't end up like that. Second period. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Jost, Rantanen, Kairou, and Sherwood. So Demko got pulled after the goal by Kairou and then Strachan lets one in with 15 seconds remaining in the second. Uh, we may as well just sim the third period here, quick sim, because we, we know we're not, not winning this one. Gerard and Rantanen score on Strachan for the 92 win right with the goal. But man, that was an absolutely atrocious game. Three start of the game, Rantanen, Kairou, and Alnafelt. So that was probably our worst loss all season. <laughs> we're going to stick with Demko. For right now, all right, not, not going to overreact to that. I mean, sure, it was nine goals, but you got to stick with the man who got you most of the, your 56 wins, right? 44 wins on the regular season. He had a 917 save percentage, so I can expect that he will not keep that 538 save percentage up <laughs> for really the rest of the playoffs here. I do not expect any more nine goal games out of him. I mean, he had seven saves in that game. That was just, oof. <laughs> that was a brutal game. For Thatcher Demko. Uh, and for our offense as well. We only scored two goals. But nonetheless, a brutal game all around. So let's hope that doesn't happen here in game number two. Come on now, boys. First period. Okay. Offense showing up now. Olofsson, Placanics, and Kachuk on Elnafelt. And then Balkvist and McKinnon on Demko. Second period. Oh, boy. <laughs> We're all tied up. Burke and Landeskog on Demko. And then Neuendijk. On Alnafelt. So tied going into the third period. Sh scores 4-4. Four to four. Shots are 26-19 to 19 in favor of Colorado. So uh, there you go. Goddard. Stuart Goddard, the defensive defenseman of all people, gets us the lead. But then Jost gets it tied for Colorado. A lot happening right now. Kachuk. Uh, oh, my. And then Rantanen. <laughs> they just go back and forth here right now. The score is 6-6 six, six with Colorado on the power play. Just, just too much happening for me to even... Keep up with the commentary right now. Uh, two minutes remaining. One. And we are going to overtime in game number two. Overtime it is. Who's going to be the hero? Come on, Salt Lake City. Someone. Don't let us go down 2 nothing. Don't let us go down 2 nothing. Please don't let that happen. Come on, Salt Lake City. Get something going. Shots are 44 to 35 right now in favor of Colorado. And there it is. Joshua Watt with the goal on Alnafelt. And we win game number two. Series tied at one. Three stars of the game. Kachuk, McKinnon, and Neuendijk. So thus far, this has been a very offensive series, as we can see. 9-2 game in game number one. 7-6 overtime game in game number two. What will become of game number three here in Colorado? First period, 1-1. Okay, Kairou for Colorado and Dundas. For your Salt Lake City Lakers. Second period. Oh man. Ugh. You don't like to see it. We're once again, we are out shooting them 30 to 15, 2 to 1 ratio. And yet they're outscoring us 4 to 2. Kraus, Byram, and McKinnon on Demko, and then Joshua Waugh on Alnafelt. Yeah, this is <laughs> this series is gonna be all over the place. It has that feel to it. Third period power play for Salt Lake City, and there it is. The power play marker 
by Ryan Merkley. Thank you, Merkley. We're still in it. We're still in it. Come on, get those shots on net. And Burke with the goal on Demko. It seems like whenever they get a shot, it's there's a pretty good chance it's going to go in. And Landis Scott with the empty net. Okay, certainly not ideal. Three stars of the game, Landis Gog, McKinnon, Rantanen. Man, we have let up at least six goals now in each of the past three games. So at this point, do I make a line change? I think defensively at least, yes. I don't know about goaltending because, I mean, Strachan didn't do much better in the time that he was in there for that game number, that crazy game number one. So I think we just have to leave Demko in there. That's going to be the smart play for this. I mean, I'm not going to overreact too much. We're only down 2-1, right? But I feel like we have to change a little bit of something, given that we have let up at least six goals in each of the past three games. We need some more defense, so it might not be a bad idea to get Goddard on that top pair instead of, let's say, Dundas. So it'll be Goddard and Dumba, and then Dundas and Appleby. I just want to try to spread things out a little bit. We lose that line chemistry bonus, but still... I need Goddard out there for uh, the majority of the series, it seems, because <laughs> this is undoubtedly an offensive series. There's not much I can change forward-wise because our forward group is pretty solid. I mean, this is the forward group that worked all year. Uh, that third line has been very good so far these playoffs. I mean, everyone's getting points, but the thing is it's the... You know, the defense, obviously. Now, I, actually, that first line has been kind of quiet. Very quiet, actually, in comparison to everybody else, basically, in this series. Murphy only with one point. Wright with one point. LaRose with nothing. So, hopefully, that first line can get it going. I don't really know what change would help there. Maybe Goudreau to the first line? We'll try that. We got to change something up. Again, it's mostly defense that we need to be worried about. And, actually, let's check out our penalty kill. And see how that's doing. I would expect it to be <laughs> at least in the mid seventies, probably lower. Let's see. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, it's only it's only seven opportunities, but yeah, forty two point nine, four power play goals against. You don't like to see it. So I guess we'll change something up about our penalty kill. I don't really know what because we have had a very hard time trying to find chemistry on the penalty kill of any kind. Basically, let's get instead of Dundas Larson. Up here with Goddard. And then Kempe and Murphy. Yeah, there's really not much we can do because almost all of our other forwards, and defensemen for that matter, have almost no penalty kill compatibility, at least as far as the penalty kill strategy goes. So there's really not much we can do. I'll move Dundas down here. And we'll get Larson up here. Yeah, let's just see what those changes do. Didn't want to go too crazy with the changes. So let's see what that all does. Heading into game number four here. Come on, boys. Get this series tied at two. First period, nothing doing. I will take it. I believe that is the first scoreless period we've seen all series. Second period, there you go. Joshua Wah with the goal on Olafel, and we are up one nothing. A rare sight here in this series for sure. But let's not get ahead of ourselves because we still got 20 more minutes to play. At least. And ranted in with the goal. Tied at one. Colorado leading his shots 26 to 19. Come on, boys. Get something going here in the last 10 minutes of regulation. Nothing happening yet. Getting some shots on net. And Sherwood with the goal on Demko. Oh, no. Please, no, 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 no. Someone with a late goal. No, it's not happening. 2-1 loss against the Colorado Avalanche in game number four. So we changed up our defense, which seems to have worked. But this also happened to be a game where our offense did not show up. Three stars of the game, all it felt. Kairou and Sherwood. We're down 3-1. Just like that. Not like this. Not like this. There's <laughs> This team is too good to be out in the first round. So anything is possible, right? I Again, I don't really know what other change I can make. And I don't really want to make too many changes because I don't want to overreact much. And considering our defense was pretty solid in that game... I think we'll leave the defense the way it is, but maybe should we just go back to the original four lines of LaRose on the first line and Goudreau on the, on the third? LaRose has been really silent, minus seven as well, minus six for that, that first line in general has been completely out of it. 
I'm going to get Kachuk some more time because he's been phenomenal so far in this series. So we'll get him some time alongside of, I mean, Wright's been silent too. What about Mechanics? Four points. Wah with three goals. Neuendijk with four points. Olofsson with three. I think these are the five-on-five five lines that we're going with. Kachuk now on the first line with LaRose and Wright. And Murphy on the third line with Placanics and Goudreau. Now, what about the power play? I actually did not check that when we were checking penalty kill. Probably should have. Power play is at a 16.7. We've only had six opportunities. So it's not like we've even been drawing too many penalties. When we do draw them, we need to make sure that we convert. So I think we're going to change up our power play just a little bit. I'm going to take LaRose off and we'll get, I want to say, Olofsson. I'm gonna, for right now, I'm going to take Wright out of there. He's been doing absolutely nothing lately. We're going to get Wah in. Neuendijk, Wah, Murphy, Olofsson, and Dundas. I don't know if I want Murphy there either. He's been kind of silent. But I can't really find anyone better, so I guess we'll leave him there as the power forward. All right, these are the lines we're going with. Going into game number five here. Backs against the wall. Not looking good, but... That being said, it's not over till it's over. First period. All right. 1-1. One, one. Kachuk and Rantanen. Second period. Ugh. Kairou and McKinnon. Okay. This is not favorable at all. Come on, Salt Lake City. Come on, Demko. Shut it down. Please shut it down. Offense, get me a goal. <sighs> Kraus. This is not happening. There is no way this is happening. <sighs> Out in the first round. In five games. I, I don't know what to say. I really don't. I, I guess I just need to focus on, on building plus five lines for everything, I suppose. Three cells of the game, all the felt, Kairou, Kraus, I read that out, out of order, whatever continue well that's an unfortunate way to end this gm mode i was hoping to go you know at least to the stanley cup finals <laughs> all right we may as well see the awards and all that so your stanley cup champions are the columbus blue jackets the president's trophy goes to the edmonton oilers it's nashville versus columbus in the final individual awards the art ross goes to yandel the heart goes to point the norris goes to hughes the Lady Bing goes to Kucherov. The Calder goes to Valakat on Ottawa. The Con Smythe goes to Kunitz on Columbus. The Vesna goes to Demko, apparently. The Jennings also goes to Demko. See, this is my, what I mean. I'm going to check the stats after this. I just have this feeling that Demko's save percentage is not where it should be. Masterton is Alvin Wong. Jack Adams, Monroe of the Devils. Selkie, Pedersen, Ted Lindsay, Point. Maurice Richard, Yandel. So we clearly had some scoring there. Kachuk with eight points. Placanics with five, Goudreau and Neuendijk with four, Wah and Olofsson with three, although there were some players who dried up big time who shouldn't have. Shane Wright, Peyton Dundas, Murphy, LaRose, and in goal, eh, Thatcher Demko with that 838 save percentage. Now, he did have that, what was it, 537, something ridiculous like that from game number one, letting in nine goals. Or Well, he didn't let in all of them, but still. The 500 is going to bring you down a lot, no matter what your save percentage for the rest of the playoffs is. He he had a very good track record in the playoffs, in the simulation with Vancouver and with Chicago. He had a 924 in the playoffs last year, or the year before. And he, for some reason, puts up an 838 in the playoffs this year. I just don't understand this game, man. All right, well, that's it. That's... All she wrote for this GM mode, unfortunately. Would have liked to win the Stanley Cup, but I, I can't even explain it, unfortunately. That'll about do it for this one. And in the next one, we will be starting our NHL 21 GM mode. And I'll see you guys in the next one.